Hello, how are we? Just put that up there. Just lifted the bonnet on the car. I'm going to do some under bonnet checks. We can see here we've got screen wash, power steering reservoir, brake fluid, header tank, clutch slave cylinder, air box, battery, fuse box, and of course in the middle there, got a lovely 2.2 litre engine. So, I'm just going to dip the oil on this vehicle. Can't check the battery, it's sealed. And check the levels on these. So we're just between minimum and maximum on the lower level there. Just in the mid, at the bottom of the minimum level on that one. Just above the minimum line on there. Just below the maximum line on that one. So we can check the water level. Now it's a dipstick on here. You can see from the bottom of there, it's wet to about there. Really, we're going to top those up, check the condition of wiper blades, and not feel of your fingers. That's it. Ready for the button to go down. First thing I'm going to do is just have a walk around the car. I'm going to use my phone, I'm going to use uh, InShot to edit this so you'll be able to see. Um, I'm not in a garage on my front lawn, as you might be able to see. There's my house. There's my car. I'm just going to do a little exterior check. I'm just going to do a quick walk around the car because before you check anything on a car, you always want to make sure there's no scratches or dents. Um, you're looking for any damage to the car before you touch the vehicle really. And then during this time you can look uh, for any obvious damage like there might be a ball tire or something like that. I'm looking around the car, just checking things like the wiper blade I can see here we've got the chassis number for the vehicle. Um, if I step back, I can see it's a pretty straight car. Bit of beard muck there on the panel, which isn't something I need record, but could probably do with a wash off. Mirrors are in good condition. If I open the doors, I can see inside. Also, got my chassis plate in here. So I've got all my technical data information off there. I record that, I can get all my um, auto data information off there. Can have a quick look inside. Actually, there's a scratch there above the door handle. It's a job for another day. Quite a lot of damage on here, so you would report about this, yeah? Because if a customer comes back and says, that wasn't like that, right, came in. You've got evidence on one of the things you do need to check is your seal on your fuel cap. Easily, looking to check that that there is intact. It is. We can see that. That's an MOT failure item. So there's nothing worse than servicing a car and taking it for MOT and it failing on that after you've just spent time servicing it. So really important thing to check. So this sort of stuff is normally done on. A body camera. You can see we're looking at the vehicle. Just notice that as well. That's something you could record at the rear towing eyes and secure. Has it got wiper blades on it? Yeah, it's got a blade on there. So I'm just checking. Right, I'll see. There's a scratch there. It's a job for another day. All the time you're looking for things that could potentially trip you up. So we're just looking down in the door shuts. Down at the back here where there's some damage, you can record that. Looking at the tyres while we're being around. And then we're back to the front. Now if we look here, a nice little information plate on this car. It tells us what the tyre pressures are. So if we haven't got auto data, we could use that. So that's my inspection done really. I can see any faults, any defects, any damage to the wheels. That's about it. First task done. 
I'm going to check inside the car now, see if everything works inside the car. So I'll use the remote fob for opening a lock car. Let's go inside. You can see the controls. Set the lights on. Mm -hmm. I can record my mileage and things like that. So radio's on. I'm going to sit in the car. I'm not going to mess with anything. Uh, I don't even know whose car this is. So. I, uh, I'm going to check everything over so I'll make sure it works. Right, I'm in the car now. Like I say, I'm not messing with anything because I don't know whose car this is. Uh, I want to check that everything's working. So if you look up here, we can see the interior lights. Both of them are working. We can check that that works. Close the door. Lights should go off. There we go. Open the door. You come on. Brilliant. So that's one check last to do. I don't know if you can see that, that's the mileage, 192,668. I can also see how much fuel's in there, so it's worth making a visual note of that. And any damage to the dashboard. So no, no visible signs there. It's all good. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to clip the seat belts in. Clip them in. Give them a check. Clip the seat belts in. I'm going to clip the other ones in. It'll work. There's the buckle. Of course, when you're jacking it, you're jacking for frays, any marks, security. Yep. Does it work? Is there any damage to it? Same on the backs. We've got a child seat here. So ideally, would you test it with the child seat in or without? The answer is with, with the child seat in, because that's when it's going to be used. So you can see here, it clicks in. Should be fed through cracked holes on the seat. It wasn't. Make sure you've got clean hands when you're doing this as well. There we go. Check the position, check for any freeze, yeah. One thing I used to do was leave them clipped in, 